Okay, let's figure out what 0.3 plus 0.5 is without using fractions. Now, if uh, some of you out there are saying, isn't 0.3 plus 0.5, isn't that a 0.8? And if you said 0.8, I, uh, in turn, must give you a happy face and a check mark and say, that's very good. Matter of fact, that is the correct answer when you're adding decimals. Now, 0.3 plus 0.5 is equal to 0.8. But what we can do is we can convert these decimals into fractions and then use fractions to figure this out as well. And you'll see how it's equivalent to our uh, decimal answer as 0.8. It's critical that you know how to work uh, uh, convert decimals to fractions and fractions to decimals. So this will be a nice basic problem uh, to kind of go over some of those important concepts that you need to know about decimals and fractions. So we're going to get to this in just one second, but first let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and uh, over several years I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. You can check out my math help program by following the link in the description of this video. Uh, but basically, I have 100 plus different uh, math courses ranging from pre-algebra, Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2. Uh, I'm going to be launching pre-calculus here uh, shortly. I'm pretty excited about that. But I also do a lot in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for the GED, high set task, maybe uh, uh, the CLEP exam, Accuplacer, Alex, uh, SAT, ACT, maybe a teacher certification exam or nursing school entrance exam. There's so many exams out there that people have to take, and all those exams have a considerable amount of math on them. And if you don't do well in the math section, you don't get through the exam. So we don't want that to happen. Uh, so go ahead and go to my website if you need help with uh, any of these exams. Check out my full course catalog. I should have what you're studying for. Now, if I do not, uh, drop me a line in, in my contact form, and I'll help you out the best I can. Um, I also uh, work a lot with independent learners like homeschoolers. I have a great homeschool learning pro uh, program, so you might want to check that out. And then obviously I help those of you that are um, struggling in your current math course. Now, if you're serious about learning math, then you must be serious about note-taking, all right? So over decades of teaching mathematics, it's apparent to me that those students who take fantastic notes, really work hard every day in class, guess what? They always look like this person at the uh, end of the year with their A+. And the reverse is true. Those students who like to uh, get on their cell phone, uh, talk to their friends, and do homework from uh, in other classes it, during math class. Well, guess what? I did all that kind of good stuff back in the 1980s when I was in school, except for the cell phone part. But, but believe me what I tell you, I was uh, completely distracted until I, uh, you know, went to college and I figured out how to, you know, what I needed to do to actually learn. And that is stay focused and engaged. You got to take notes. And the only way you're going to learn anything is to be, uh, re remain highly focused. Focus is the key to success. Uh, to success, period. So you need an activity that's going to keep you focused. That's note-taking. Okay, so improve your notes. But in the meantime, you still need something to study from. So if you want to study from my notes, I offer pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2, uh, trigonometry. You can find the links to those notes in the description of this video. Okay, so 0.3 plus 0.5, very, very easy problem. Um, hopefully, it's easy for some of you out there. If it isn't, uh, I'll show you step-by-step step how to do this problem. Now, if you think you could do this, convert these uh, into fractions, and then do this problem, end up with a 0.8, go ahead and pause the video and do it. But uh, with that being said, let's take a look at the solution here. All right, so the first thing is we need to know how to say a decimal. Okay, we need to be able to say it out loud. And here we have 0.3, okay, 0.3. We could say this like, you know, uh, verbally, point. Uh, three, right? So that's how we can say that. Now, there's another way we can uh, state that. Okay, we have to be able to pronounce a decimal, uh, pronounce, but we got to be able to describe it properly uh, verbally. So 0.3 is the same thing as three tenths. This is three tenths. So this is um, uh, the idea of place value. Now, if you're confused about place value, where the t uh, the tenths, the hundredths, the uh, thousands, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, check out some of my videos on place value in my pre-algebra playlist on my YouTube channel. Uh, we'll kind of review that. But hopefully you'll re you uh, remember that 0.3 is the same thing as 3 tenths. That's the um, uh, kind of secret here to do this problem. So if 0.3 is 3 tenths, then 0.5 uh, is 5 tenths. 
Okay, so uh, this five and these three are in the tenths places in terms of place value. So you got, you're going to want to review that. Okay, but anyways, if you understand that, then we can uh, move on with the rest of this problem. Okay, so that's the really first key step is to be able to say these decimals properly. All right, now we're here. We have three tenths plus five tenths. We want to add these fractions. We can add them because the denominator is the same. Okay, we don't um, need to find the lowest common denominator. In fact, we do have a common denominator. 10 is common with 10, exactly common. So we can write this now as uh, 10 as the denominator. As, excuse me, as, a, as the denominator, and then we just simply add the numerators, 3 plus 5, okay? So we can go from here to here because we have the same denominator. Now, of course, if you had something like 1 uh, tenth plus uh, 3 sevenths, uh, these denominators are not the same. You need to do something else to fix this, okay? you got to find the lo lowest common denominator, etc. Matter of fact, you want to check out one of my videos uh, I think it's called uh, Best Hack for Fractions. It's in my pre-algebra and algebra playlist on my channel. I, I, it has, I don't know, over 500,000 views. I've already launched it pretty quickly. Uh, but it's one of the, it's going to show you how to add and subtract fractions in a very easy way, even if you're confused about finding the LCD. So check out that video as well if you want to know more about fractions. I have tons of videos on fractions because fractions are everywhere. So you might as well just make friends with them. You know, be like, okay, you know, don't, you know, be angry at fractions. So many students are like, mm, you know, like fractions. I hate fractions. I can remember way back in the 1970s in elementary school doing fractions. And I was just like, I don't want to deal with them. So I get it. Anyways, uh, check out more of my videos on fractions. You will, uh, you know, it'll help you out big time. Okay. All right. Anyway, let's get back to the problem. All right. So three tenths plus five tenths is the same thing as three plus five now over 10. Okay, so 3 plus 5, of course, is 8 over 10, and here 8, 10, okay, or 8 over 10, or 8 tenths, how do I write that? Well, 8 tenths, all right, if I convert this, you should know that this is 0.8, okay, this is 8 tenths as a decimal, and wasn't that our answer way up here? Okay, indeed it was, right? So when you're adding decimals, you're going to get 0.8. So you guys, you, you know, really what you want to understand from this video is that fractions or decimals are, are interrelated, okay? They're equivalent to one another. We just, you know, are looking at the same numeric value in different uh, forms, okay? So here is our 8 tenths as our answer, but we want to go ahead and reduce that fraction 8 tenths to 4 fifths, right? 2 goes into 8, 4, and 2 goes into 10. Five. So here is our final answer, four fifths. Now, we wouldn't recognize four fifths as a decimal point eight, but these are equivalent mathematically. Okay. All right. So this is uh, going to wrap it up for this little video here. So what was the key? Well, you got to uh, really understand place value. Okay. How to say a decimal? Don't say point three. Say three tenths. All right. Or uh, 37 hundredths or uh, 16 thousandths. You got to understand that pretty well. And typically, a lot of students, um, you know, get confused on that. So again, if you're a little bit rusty on that, check out my place value video or videos on my uh, YouTube channel. And under my pre-algebra playlist, you should find a couple videos there for sure. All right, but if this video was uh, helpful in some way and you're like, oh, okay, good little review, and if you did well on it, that's excellent. So um, if you like the video, again, please consider smashing that like button. That helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for over 10 years, over, have over 1,000 videos. Um, my passion is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way. Nobody should be failing math, okay? If you're doing your part, Okay, taking notes, right? You got to do your part. You got to talk to your teacher, listen to your teacher. But if you're doing all that, okay, and you need additional help, well, in this day and age, there is a tremendous amount of resources. So if you like my teaching style, I have tons of videos on my channel, Basic to Advanced Math. Of course, my best math help will be within my uh, math help program. But the bottom line is there's plenty of help out there for you to take advantage of. And uh, if you want my help, then that's what I'm here for, okay? I want to share what I know about math with you so you can reach your goals and um, not let uh, math be a barrier to where you want to go in life. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. 
Thank you for your time and have a great day.